We generally don't see a lot of unique devices in the smartphone market because conforming to a niche segment requires experimenting and experimenting usually involves a lot of money. So yes, we do see some niche products like foldable phones, gaming phones. We also see some courageous decisions like bringing flagship 64 megapixel sensors to the mid-range segment. But under 10,000 rupees, you don't see any of this because brands just want to stick to the basics and get the basics right. In every other segment, you see some phones with a couple of extremely good features, but with some corners cut. But in the budget segment, all the features tend to be average. Brands don't want to cut corners, which means you're not going to get those couple of extremely good features. Well, at least until Techno came up with a Spark 6 Air. Let's go ahead, quickly unbox it and have a close look at the phone. And of course, along the way, you will get to know why it's the perfect phone for e-learning and online classes. Let's get started. So here we have the box from Techno. This is the Spark 6 Air. Underneath, we have a SIM ejector pin, a micro USB cable, a power adapter and some paperwork. We have an additional one month warranty. Nice. The first thing you notice when you pick up the Spark 6 Air is that it's humongous. It's got a 7 inch HD plus TFT LCD display with a 20.5 by 9 aspect ratio. Gone are those days when 7 inch devices were called tablets. This is crazy. There is a water drop notch at the top along with dual front facing LED flash. I had no idea about them until I tried clicking a selfie in the dark. Uh, the earpiece at the top also doubles as a loudspeaker and it actually gets pretty loud. There is no loudspeaker on the bottom. So yeah, this is a single speaker setup, but unlike on most other phones, this one is front facing. And it's worth mentioning that it's powered by Dirac for better audio quality. On the rear, there is a triple camera setup along with quad LED flash, below that a fingerprint scanner and then the techno branding. The phone comes in two colors, Comet Black and this one, Ocean Blue. It's a glossy finish as you can see and the way it plays around with light is quite cool. And for a phone this big and this affordable, the build quality seems pretty good. It's plastic obviously, but it's quite rigid and well built. Despite the long or tall frame, it doesn't bend easily, seems to be holding up quite well. Of course, this is not meant for single-handed usage, even if you're hands are as large as mine. Now, initial impressions, I feel the fingerprint scanner could have been placed a little lower, given that it's a really tall phone. Anyway, the scanner itself is perfectly fine. I mean, I haven't used it for a long time. These are my initial impressions, but in my time with it so far, it's actually been really fast, faster than I expected. It's also good in terms of accuracy. Moving to the internals, the Spark 6 Air is powered by MediaTek's Helio A22 chip, which has four Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 2 GHz each, along with 2 GB RAM and 32 GB internal storage. There's also a 3 GB RAM variant coming soon, and as for storage, there is a dedicated micro SD card slot for expansion, so no issues there. And yeah, there are a couple of SIM slots too. Most important of all, there is a humongous 6000 mAh battery inside, expected to last at least two days on a single charge, thanks to the HD plus display, as well as the 12 nanometer chipset, which is expected to be quite efficient. This is one of the USBs of the phone. You cannot find any other phone in this segment with a 6000 mAh battery. Even 5000 is very rare. The triple camera setup on the rear consists of a 13 megapixel primary camera with f1.8 aperture. Here are some samples for your reference. There is an 8 megapixel front facing camera for selfies. Again, here are some samples. The rear camera supports 1080p video recording at 30 fps and the quad LED flash lights up while shooting videos as well. Now, of course, like I said earlier, it has some premium features which cannot be found elsewhere in this segment, which also means some corners had to be cut over here. For one, the performance is expected to be average given the use of MediaTek's Helio A22 chip. 
should be okay for some mild gaming like Tiger Ball, uh, which isn't really graphically intensive, or even Headball 2 for that matter. But something like PUBG won't run smoothly. And as for the camera performance, the second camera on the rear is a depth sensor. So yeah, some compromises have been made, but on the other hand, you get a super large display, seven inches, and a battery that refuses to die, which is exactly why I say, this is perfect for e-learning, online classes and stuff. That's one big issue we are facing these days. School children need a phone or a laptop to attend online classes. And even though parents do have phones and laptops, they are working from home too. They need the devices. So something like the Techno Spark 6 Air comes in handy uh, because number one, the huge display is really useful for online learning. I mean, it's more of a necessity, I feel, because as far as I heard, schools are recommending laptops. But worst case, if it's a phone, it should have a large display at the very least, because not everyone can afford laptops. Which brings us to number two. This is quite affordable. The pricing starts from 8,000 rupees for the 2GB RAM variant, and the 3GB RAM variant is coming soon, and the expected price is uh, about maybe 9,000 or maximum 10,000. And number three, the classes take place mostly on Zoom video calling app or Google Meet in some rare cases. But either way, a huge battery is a must to get through six to eight hours of continuous online classes. Those video calls really drain a lot of juice. You can technically use a power bank or connect it to the charging adapter, which may be highly uncomfortable. And more importantly, as it is during video calls, phones tend to get hot or at least quite warm. Charging them simultaneously just makes it worse. This is something I saw as a primary use case, hence discussing it in detail. Uh, and yeah, the Spark 6 Air also comes with one time free screen replacement. Techno also launched these mini pods M1. Well, technically it's mini pod. There's only one year bud. And guys, I really didn't expect it, but the audio quality is fantastic for the price. It's 799 rupees. You get decent bass, reasonably good mids and highs. It's noticeably better than both the Redmi Earbuds S as well as the Realme Buds Q. Of course, the downside is you've got only one earbud, but if that's what you've been looking for, this is a no-brainer. I'm more interested in checking out Techno's dual pods version called the High Pods H2, which is priced at 2000. The microphone also does a pretty good job. Here's a recording of a voice clip. Hey guys, so this is a recording of a phone call. Basically, I called another phone and that phone was also with me so basically I'm talking to myself. Let me just turn on the fan to see how uh, the mini pods M1 handles noise. So whether uh, you guys are able to hear me uh, despite the fan running in the background or not. So yeah, the fan is running at full speed and then let me know if you are able to hear me. Let me know if I'm possible. The expected battery life is around 6 hours on a single charge and the case also has enough juice to charge the bud twice. So a total of 16 to 18 hours playback can be expected. I think both products are on sale for the past couple of days. So do check them out. Links can be found in the description. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care and bye.